Hi, welcome back to Freak Show's Forgotten Films. Decided to change the name there. Film sounds a lot less ridiculous. So it's Freak Show's Forgotten Films now. I'm learning. I'm growing. It's good. Okay. So we have our coffin. Let's rattle the bones. That was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see what we're going to watch today. All right. Oh, don't fall out. Okay, so I'm gonna dig right in here. Close Mr. Coffin. And we are going to watch 13th Child. Now this one, I do know a little about beforehand. I think I watched this when I first bought it, which was, oh. <laughs> An embarrassing amount of years ago, maybe like 10 years ago, maybe somewhere between five. Oh, I don't know. Moving on. Um, it's about the origins of the Jersey Devil, as far as I know. And if you can hear tippy tappies or if the camera shakes, I have a doggo who has decided he wants to look out the window. <laughs> so he's over there now. Um, so 13th Child. I do believe it's about the origins of the Jersey Devil. I do know how that legend goes. I have a thing for cryptids and urban legends. I love cryptids and urban legends. Um, Bloody Mary is a bit of a fascination of mine. You'll see at least two Bloody Mary movies on here. I love Bloody Mary. I gotta stop saying it because essentially I am looking into a kind of a mirror right now. So maybe I should stop that. And Mothman and Jersey Devil. Uh, chupacabras. I love cryptids and most folklore anyway. So let's dig out the movie. I know this one's not on a set because I remember buying this one. And see what the back says. Alright, and we're back. And as I suspected, Legend of the Jersey Devil, 13th Child. And that's a lot of glare. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So basically it's saying that it's talking about since the 1700s, the vast forests of the southern New Jersey Pine Barrens. Locals have reported savage and unsolved murders. And now it's the Halloween season and once again, someone or something is terrorizing the Pine Barrens. And there's a detective on the case. It stars Cliff Robertson, Robert Glammy, Christopher Atkins, and Leslie Handow. I don't know how to pronounce that other one, but yeah. There we go. So we're gonna go watch this. It doesn't say how long it is that I can see. So I'll meet you back here when the movie's over. And what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> okay, so this one's not very good. <laughs> this one is kind of confusing, kind of boring. Um, yeah, it, it was bad. It was bad, and not good bad, like I really like. It was bad. Um, it came out in 2002. I believe I bought it in about 2007, 2008, so it was already direct to video and highly discounted when I bought it, <laughs> so that should say something. Uh, there's The acting is really, really, really bad. It's really bad. Let me give you the premise of the movie first, okay? So it is about the Jersey Devil, and we have essentially knockoff Jennifer Jarreau from like Criminal Minds and Discount Bo Duke <laughs> trying to find the Jersey Devil who's killing people. Now there's not a lot of actual horror in the, <laughs> in the movie. It's it's trying to be like an investigation procedural type thing, but it's also trying to be like spooky at the same time but it's not really succeeding in both <laughs> or either <laughs> um the only redeeming factor in the movie is um what's his name he played uncle ben yeah i have it written down here but like literally i need to start wearing my glasses and these things he played uncle ben in the raimi spider-man movies uh cliff robertson cliff robertson that's it Cliff Robertson. Um, he's the only actor that's actually an actor. There goes my dog again. Click, 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 click. He's a pink on butt, but I love him. 
Um, he's the only decent actor in the bunch. Everybody else, oh boy. Um, we got this man in an insane asylum at the beginning who is, a, I do believe, is a famous, fairly famous voice actor, but he's not very good in this movie. And his prison guard, who doesn't really say much, who kind of looks like discount Ernie Hudson. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. Um, at one point he gets into a conversation slash argument with a tarantula in his room, which, you know, um, no, the, the story gets very convoluted. There's no tone. The tone is all over the place. It goes from, like, police procedural to, like, you, you go to the house of... Oh, I'm gonna keep calling him Uncle Ben, but I think his name is Miss Mr. Horde. Or something like that. <laughs> and he's a cryptozoologist, I'm thinking. He... His home is really well sit dressed. I, that's the only part that I like in this movie, is when we're following this man. Um, so I'm gonna spoil the fuck out of a really bad movie from 2002, but yes, the Jersey Devil is real. That is what's killing people. He is the brother of this man, Mr. Horde. Uncle Ben. He's Uncle Ben's brother. <laughs> and they're hundreds of years old, because reasons. And the Jersey Devil's name is Bruno, and he is this tarantula. I guess it's a shapeshifter thing, but the during the whole movie, there's this tarantula going around, and the tarantula's name is Bruno, and it turns out that's the fucking Jersey Devil. I'm sorry for cursing. I do that a lot. Get used to it, especially if I'm watching a bad movie. But <laughs> he's... <laughs> a laugh. I'm sorry. This movie was ridiculously bad. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. The only reason it's getting a 3 is because of Cliff Robertson's performance. I think he's fun in this movie. I think he's the only one that knows what kind of movie he's in and he's enjoying it. Just kind of being a little tongue-in-cheek with it. Nobody else can figure out what tone it is. At one point it turns into a teen sex comedy. For no reason. Why? <laughs> uh, what else? Oh yeah, they're in the asylum. Yes. Um, some of the props are really good. Um, they show a lot of footage from deer hunting. And I'm not sure if the deer carcasses are real or not, but they're really well done. As someone who has been around that kind of thing in like farm work and hunting and stuff. Small town. Very small town. So... <laughs> Don't judge me. Small town. My PlayStation controller just turned itself off. That's what that noise was. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I <laughs> Judging, but they look like real carcasses. And there's a part where there's, like, meat from the carcasses, and that also looks real. So, whether it is or not is beyond me, but if it's not, then it's really well done. There's only one partial body really seen sort of and one kill like it's <laughs> the only prop that bothers me is the gun that she has at the end i'm in canada okay so i'm not big on like guns but this thing doesn't look like a real gun <laughs> this looks like an airsoft gun like it looks like an airsoft handgun that i used to own at one point it has like three barrels with like this big plastic thing here. It's bright silver that looks like paint up plastic. It looks plastic. It's bad. It's the only gun in the movie like it, and it's the one that she uses at the end. So yeah. Either way, I'm I'm not even gonna go into much more about this. It's it's just bad. It's a bad movie, and I I like bad movies. I didn't like this. This was boring and confusing, and badly acted. So. Like I can say, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. I'm gonna see my little notes here and what everybody else gave it. IMDb gave it a 2.3, so I did better than them. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 40% for their tomato meter, whatever. Uh, but the audience score is 18%. So, they even scored it lower than I did. <laughs> but, for now, 
I'm going to move on to the next movie. Possibly not today, though, because it's getting dark and I'm losing my light. So that's, that's a thing that's happening. Anyway, I'm going to take off. Don't watch this movie. It's, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm going to watch these movies so you don't have to. How about that, huh? And I'll see you in the next episode of Freak Show's Forgotten Films, which sounds so much better than Freak Show's Forgotten Movies. I'm an idiot. And that's all for now. All my links or whatever is in the section below. I have the Tiki Talk. I have the Instagram. I don't do much, but I'm there. And I'm hoping to be back real soon with hopefully a better movie this time. They all can't be this bad. They all can't be this bad. They just can't. Okay. <laughs>